Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather. This is Honest Homemaking, and today I thought that we would do another day in the life. It is a Tuesday. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock in the morning, which means that we have been up for four hours. So I'm getting a little bit of a late start, but I'm really just now getting started with my day. I'm still in my bathrobe and pajamas. Um, Mason is four weeks old. I thought that I would do a day in the life today because my house is not completely destroyed. Yes, there is some cleaning to be done, but I typically only seem to film when the house is just disastrous. And I think that's because it inspires me to work on it and get things done. So uh, I'm going to do some stuff today and I just I wanted to show you that it's not like the worst. So I do have some dishes in the kitchen, but it's not piled up like it normally is. Um, yes, we had Wendy's for dinner yesterday, so even the table is it does have some stuff on it. It's got Chris's camera equipment on it and his Mac. But all in all, it's not terrible. You've seen it much worse. I'll show you in here in the the living room might be like I really I really need to vacuum. So there's a little bit of stuff. But it's really not that bad. So I'm going to I've already started. You want a cheesy poof? Okay. Um, but Leo tends to get in our bed in the middle of the night every night and he peed in our bed last night so I've already started laundry for the morning I'm gonna try and work on my list um, I was watching Kimmy from She's in Her Apron and if you know my channel you probably know her channel um, hers is much bigger and more well known than mine but she's one of my favorite youtubers to watch and she made the comment in one of her videos that you have until 11.59 to get your morning routine done so it's 10 o'clock. I'm doing all right. Um, I'm checking off my list now, which I've showed you guys before. Um, get the kids up and out the door. My pen is like Leo keeps getting a hold of it. So still have to empty the dishwasher. I had coffee. I can't make the bed. I did start laundry. Leo is dressed and has a breakfast. I have no idea what's for dinner today. Really, pen? Really? I wonder if I have another one. So I'm going to go ahead and empty the dishwasher and try to get on with my morning. Um, we didn't make enough dishes yesterday to run it, so I didn't have to empty it. I just got to straight put the dishes in, which is not on my list in the morning, but um, I wanted to do something, so I'm going to, I had coffee, which you saw. I'm going to go try and get ready, but I have a little wiggle, a wiggly little baby right here, so I don't know if I'm going to have to feed him first or if I can get ready first.
table to get ready. Uh, I got all of my morning was done except for making bed and figuring, making the bed and figuring out what's for dinner. I was able to get ready a little bit. Um, I haven't been putting a whole lot of like face on and clearly I haven't been fixing my hair every day. Um, but I, I did get ready a little bit. I have on, sorry guys, I have on comfortable clothes. Um, my clothes still don't fit, <laughs> so uh, I don't have a lot of options. I'm wearing leggings and a promotional shirt that Chris got from work because those are what fit. Hi, Hi. Leo. What do you have? I have a blanket. You have a blanket? Come here, look. Say hi. Oh. Ew. Don't chew on the blankie. He spilled chocolate milk all over his shirt, so we had to... <gasps> Whoa! Uh, Is that what was in there? Yeah, yeah. Leo's tool. So I have to find him another shirt. Come here. Can you say hi, YouTube? Get that out of there. Here. <laughs> say, <laughs> say, hi. Yeah, say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> So, uh, I did have to order him, um, I went online to OldNavy.com and ordered him a bunch of new pants and shirts because he is so big. He's still in the 95th percentile for height and weight. Um, he is very proportionate. He is just, oh my, he's just very big for his age. He's about the size of a four-year-old and he's almost three. So, I had to order him a bunch of new clothes. <laughs> Leo's tool. <laughs> because none of his clothes fit anymore. So I ordered a couple things for the baby. I ordered a few things for Chris and pretty much a whole new wardrobe for Leo because like I said he outgrown most of his clothes. Um, and I intended to get myself some things but I don't know what size I am right now. So I was not able to do that. Um, I have, let's see, I need to figure out what we're doing for dinner because we have nothing to eat in the house. Um, but I went ahead and loaded the dishes and switched the laundry. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and clean up the living room. It has gotten worse since you guys saw it because Leo has been pretty much hanging out in here while I did other things. What are you doing? Still have your tool? Yeah. Careful. Okay, this thing woke up. I was awake for a good little bit. And he fussed and made it really difficult for me to eat my lunch. But now he's sleeping pretty good. So I'm going to try to go ahead and get this picked up. I also have two hampers full of clean laundry I need to fold right here. So not only do I have three hampers full of laundry in the living room to fold and put away, I have this stack of clean laundry here, and this massive pile of clean laundry on their desks. Oh, and, and that out of my drawers, um, because... We have a newborn. <laughs> um, as I am like trying to hurry and get ready, I'm just yanking things out of drawers. And that is how it ends up looking like this. So I'm going to deal with this before I try to put away the laundry downstairs.
it is almost seven o'clock and Chris is on his way home. He's been doing most of the grocery shopping since um, I had Mason. And I don't know if you noticed, but uh, we had to have bath time because he projectile vomited everywhere. Um, he tends to be a little piggy and he tends to sometimes overeat. So he had a bath. Did you have a bath? And I still have baby vomit all over my shirt. So I have to try to find something clean. For, but I'm also debating at 7 o'clock. Do I just put my pajamas on? So I need to switch the laundry again. Um, because our comforter still... Where did Zachy's what go? Zachy's dog? I don't know. This one had to have another bath too because every time Mason gets, every time anybody gets a bath, Leo needs a bath. Did you take a bath? I took a bath. Yeah, Leo took a bath. Have you had a good day? We've had a few tantrums. Um, he is adjusting pretty well to being a big brother. Um, you know, as well as any two and a half year old can. He, we have been working really hard to make sure that he still gets one on one attention. Uh, he loves his big brother, or his big brother. He loves his little brother. He lays his head on him. He rubs his head. Oh, someone's working up to getting angry. Uh, but I do have a question for those of you. It's been a while since I've had a two year old. It's been 12 years since I've had a two year old. Um, I would like to know your tips and tricks on teaching them at home. Like, he knows how to spell his name. He can count to, like, five. He knows most of his colors. Um, so my question is, what are your tips on teaching little, little ones? Teaching them at home, just, you know, like, how to teaching them the letters and basic things. I know that, you know, I don't want to push him, but, you know, also I want to help him learn as much and as quickly as I can. So, if you have any, like, teaching small ones, tips for me, leave them in the comments. I have to take care of this. So Chris is back with stuff for dinner and I wanted to show you what we were having tonight. Um, he worked, it's 7.42 so it's close to bedtime already, especially since I go to bed at like 9.30 now. Um, so one of the things that we like to eat pretty frequently that is pretty simple is chicken tortilla soup. So I'm taking the frozen chicken that I had in the bag putting it in here and hoping that it fits without, uh, and it did good and then I have a can of chicken broth a can of fire roasted crushed tomatoes uh, Chris actually picked this up today normally we use regular corn but they had something called Mexicorn and it has uh, green peppers and bell peppers in it, so I figured that would be like better corn. And they were small cans, so he got two of those. I don't know, it might end up being too much. We'll have to let you know. A can of black beans and a can of green chilies. I also have half of a diced to, uh, not tomato, this is an onion, not a tomato. And it calls for adding your own seasonings, but because I am shortcutting it, I'm using a packet of taco seasoning. That all in there. Close the lid. 
And then I'm just going to, oops, I hit the wrong button. I'm going to do manual for 25 minutes probably, maybe 20, let's do 20 minutes on high pressure. And now we cook. That's it. When it is done, I will pull the chicken pieces out, shred them up. I will add some cheese, some sour cream, and some guacamole, or not guacamole, avocado. And that's dinner. And this is what it looks like so far. This is with the chicken. I'm sure you can hear the kids playing. Um, with the chicken shredded up and put back in there, I'm going to put some cheese in it and some sour cream in it. This is what it looks like when you get it in the bowl. I put some cheese on it, some sour cream, some guacamole, and then we serve it with these scoopies. That's dinner. Well. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, so we, we, I fell asleep at like 10 o'clock as soon as I stuffed my face. Um, it's very typical of me these days. This little guy woke up so darn happy and in such a good mood today. Leah's not awake yet, but uh, that is the end of my day in the life with a four week old. Um, it was pretty uneventful, as most of our days are, but uh, the soup was really good. I really enjoyed it. I have leftovers that I will have for lunch today. Um, that's, yeah, that's really all I got for you right now. So if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a thumbs up. I've got, oh, I have red baby rash. You know, they get, they get you with their little claws. Their little talons right there, those talons. Say hi, Chunky. Hi, Chunky. Those both were nicknames. Yeah, we're both Chunky. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me over there because I post a lot more regularly there. Um, this little guy is in my stories almost daily. Pretty much daily. It's actually pretty much all I talk about. Anyway, uh, subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. And we will see you guys next time. Yes, we will. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.